Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of oh, Mixed Mo's The Merman. Hope you're doing well. Got my Riley boy here today. He's just come home from school, haven't you? Dad, the big news. The big news. Daddy, the, uh, what's he called, Daddy? I don't know, you tell me. What's the big news? Christmas music. We are, um, I've just put the lights up outside, outside the house for Riley boy, all over the house, and uh, play some Christmas music. As he got off the bus. Put the lights up outside, outside the house for Riley boy, all over the house, and uh, play some Christmas music as he got off the bus. And he was dancing in the street. Daddy? What, what, what was the song, song's name? Santa is coming to town. Santa yeah, Claus is coming yeah, to town. Yeah. <laughs> what a word. So uh, it's, it's, this is in the evening, but I'm going to be doing a video to this tomorrow morning. We've got airplane. <coughs> You've got airplane in the front room. Yeah, 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 it doesn't it plays music. So we got, we're, we're in full Christmas spirit here at the moment. Um, but I want to get this video done only because I've just seen this puzzle come up. I know who it's come from. I know what it is. So I want to get this one done because we are on the 1st of December today. <coughs> so I'll get, I don't know, 2nd of December. But I want to get that one done just for you. So we're going to do a video on the... Hus helmet? On, no, it's not a helmet. No, on the Husqvarna mulching mower. The one I got running last in the last video. Uh, but I want to sort out the governor um, issue and why it's over revving. Also, this has just turned up, which is the, uh, the front guard to it, the cover, because it won't sell without it. That was £25 off of, that, off of um, uh, Ransom Spares. Uh, they sell it. £25 for that. You, also get, you can also get the side discharge chute as well for that, if you want to get one of those as well. Daddy, yes, one, buddy. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's it. That's all, that's all the height adjustments, mate. Yeah, so put it over here. That's all the height adjustments for that, so that's all good. So we've got that. Um, that will come from the video today. And then this... Um, What's your name? That's yours. It's not mine. So this has come from my good friend. Uh, oh, wow. No, this has come from John Clem. Wait, John Clem. Knife. Here you go. Oh, look, you got it. Uh, this has come from my friend John Clem, who sent Riley Boy a parcel. Now I knew it was coming. Oh, my gosh! Oh, Okay, there's no there's no note in it, but I know I knew it was coming. Uh, so my mate John Clem has sent Riley Boy a fantastic um, advent calendar, but not just any advent calendar. This is the Kinder Egg Surprise Calendar. Daddy. So what would you say to John? It's your job. Thank you, John. You are my best friend. You're it's his it's best friend. So John has bought Riley Boy. A total Two seconds. A, a, a Kinder Egg Surprise. He's he's absolutely. I can feel him shaking. He's that excited. So. Daddy. Yes, buddy. I've, I've Joe. Talk to John, yeah. Joe, I got Christmas music. Christmas music. Santa coming to us. Santa coming to us. Is that Santa coming to us? Uh, that's Santa, yeah. He's not coming tonight. He's coming about. He's coming about 22 days. But he'll be here soon. As, Georgie, as, Georgie, long, Georgie, Georgie, Georgie. as long as you're a good Georgie, boy. 2021. Oh, what? 2021. 2021? Yeah. It'll be 2022 next year, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, thank you very much, John, for that. Much appreciated. If anyone would like to put a little smile on my little boy's face um, for Christmas. Where my, is he now? Two seconds, mate. My Amazon wish list is down below. Please feel free to hit the Amazon wish list and go shopping. There's bits on there for myself, for Mrs. Shopping. P, and also for my little tiny Riley boy. So please feel free to have a little look whilst I'm on around the Christmas, and I will open the present, um, the presents as we get near near the time. So that's cool. Thank you very much, John. You're a superstar for that. My name, my name. John. Hey, John. Who's making money? We can know a widget for you. Yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah. Okay. So without further ado, uh, before we get on, uh, if you like this video, then don't hit your subscribe button, whack the old bell. <gasps> That way you'll um, get beat notified when I do videos or on a live stream on a Saturday night. Um, so what we're going to do today, we're going to do this Husqvarna um, lawnmower. It's revving too high, way too high, and we need to try and sort the revs down a bit, otherwise it's not, not going to sell. And, and also put the front cover on. So without further ado, let's get down and dirty, and let's sort out this Husqvarna lawnmower whilst Riley Boy gets stuck into his advent calendar all the way from America for my mate John. Okay, so um, here's the uh, Husqvarna. That's um, the parts come in for it. But also what I want to do is uh, investigate the reason why it's over revving. In the last video, you would have seen um, seen it run, but absolutely revving its head off. Here's the part I've got for it. That was 25 quid. That's going to sit on there. And without it, it's, it's never, ever going to sell without it, okay? Because appearance is 99% of a sale. It's as simple as that. So I want to investigate why this, why this government arm is catching the way it is, because it is. And in the last video you would have seen, I did sort of suggest it maybe that governor spring, because someone had put a cut, looks like someone's put a couple of dents in it. 
So we're gonna just remove these bolts very, very quickly. Out of his Honda Carby. Look at the old heat shield. I think there's a gasket. The only problem with these old Hondas, they do have lots of gaskets and bits and pieces. So let me uh, have a quick little look here. Let me get a pair of long nose pliers. And we're gonna grab that, that governor spring off the back there. And I'll bring it around just so you can see what someone's done to it. I've got you zoomed in quite quite close, as much as I can show you. If I get a bit of card maybe, up in heat shield, it might show you a bit better. But you can see behind here, there's two big kinks in this in this um, uh, governor spring. And what I believe was happening is getting hooked on this auto choke. That's what was happening, is getting hooked just in there and it couldn't actually move itself. I don't think that's correct. So what we're gonna do is very simply grab hold of that little tiny governor spring. I'm just gonna work those little tiny kinks out without the spring snapping, of course. Now, sometimes it may pay just to, just to change the actual spring because sometimes I do lose a bit of tension. But all I wanna do, yeah, that's good, is just straighten that spring up. So now you can see the spring is now absolutely straight. You see that there? I don't think you can see that. So that's straighten what it was. Just want to improve that little tiny hook on the end of it as well, because that needs to hook into the carburetor plate itself. Make sure that doesn't come off, that's better. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Well, I think, that, I think that'll do it. We shall see. Let me get you, get you zoomed back out again. Okay, we've been zoomed back out again. We can now go to refit this, um, this carb again. Heat shield goes back on with this bit here nearest the engine. Um, now, lots of people do say, oh, Mick, you should just get some dowels for this, this, that, and the other for these Honda engines. But they are a bit of a pickle. They're not too bad, though. I mean, you know, by the time you finish mucking about with it, they're, they're not excessive to worry about. But yeah, you can get the dowels for it. And no, I don't have any. And uh, no, I'm not going to use any. So I'm just going to put the bolts in. Line up the gasket on this one first. Let's get that one started. That one's in. And then his mate started. I know you can't see a lot because my hands in the way, but I'll show you in a minute. There you go. Now you can just off of the old or off of the older uh, carburetor up slightly. And pop that bolt in. That's that one. So it's just a bit of a faff, that's all it is, but I do this quite often, so quite used to just uh, working in confined areas. That's that one. That's that one. So now what I want to do is I want to try and get this governor spring on, which is the one that was bent. I'm just going to slip that over top, and that's going to go down to that hole on the on the throttle arm itself, throttle butterfly. That's going to go just oh, nearly. There it goes, that's gone in. Right, that's gone in now. So we've got the bolts, gaskets, all they're all in place. So it's not, as I say, it's not it's not too much of a faff. Let's line this gasket up here. Push that first bolt through. Line that one up just so it holds it in place. It should be there. Line the next one up. It should be there. Push them through a bit and then just line them through onto the carburetor housing itself. Which is there. Now you want to just tip this back slightly just to line up your uh, crankcase breather pipe. Which is going to be there. Has that gone on? Yeah, it's gone on. And away you go. So it's not too, it's not too much of a faff. You know, that, that, that took three minutes. Uh, what I want to do, before I do any of that, I want to make sure that that choke, auto choke, is around the right way. Of that carburetor. Which it, it, I think it is there. That's 
that one. Yeah, that's choking lovely. So it's not too much of a faff, but uh, yeah, you can use the studs, but uh, I don't. That's it. So carb is now all on, as it needs to be. Now the question is, of course, <coughs> is does this governor arm now spring back on its own accord, whereas beforehand it was getting stuck. Uh, when, you, when you had it go forward like so, that, that's where it stayed at full throttle, but now, look, you can now see it's actually running quite, quite smooth. Doesn't go back anymore when it needs to. So I believe we might have fixed that. Quite happy with that. It wasn't doing that beforehand, so that's good. Um, next thing I want to do uh, before I test it, of course, I just want to put this new, this new cover on. Now, for what I believe, I think it is just literally a couple of screws here. One, two. Where's a new, where's a new part on it? We've got a couple of bolts. One. Oh, it's got a different, slightly different model. That's uh, ingenious. I might have to drill a couple of holes here. We should see. It does fit, but there should be a couple of holes there. The model has changed slightly. Let me take these two out first, and then um, I can then at least, at least screw this one down into place, and that will then hold it. And then I might have to drill a hole through here and through here just to hold that down into its actual place. But we'll see. So let me get these two bits, these two ones out first, and I'll be back to you in two ticks. Right, just got my little backhoe set out. Quite a nice little set this is. And all we're going to do is just going to clamp that, that screw off where it's actually broken off beforehand. Just run this one off. Little tiny 8mm screw on there. So we keep that because we want to keep that for the next bit. And then around this side here, exactly the same. <coughs> Another little 8mm. Somewhere. Let me get my head in there first so I can just see where I'm going. That's it there. Hold that one in place. Let's get it turning. There she goes. So that's good. We're happy with that. So now, by rights, that should now fit lovely onto there, which it does. Yeah, the model has changed ever so slightly, I'd say, over the years. But that's irrelevant, that'd do us. As long as I can get that to fit onto there, I'll be happy. So these two bolts here can now go back in to where they were up through here, and uh, I'll come back to you once that bit's been fitted, and then we'll go from there. Right, there you go, uh, front cover's now on. Now to be fair, that's actually solid, so I'm not gonna bother drilling holes into here and here. Uh, that, that's got it, that ain't going nowhere. So I'm happy with that, and, and it just sort of just finishes the mower off. I've got to paint all of this stuff up yet. This will all be painted before it goes up for sale. But a problem I now have is round this side here, let me show you, um, I'm, I'm gonna take this back cover off, because that's, a, that's as white as anything. And I wanna try something just to try and brighten that up, try and make it look a bit more a bit more presentable. Something a bit closer to that if I can. So let me just undo these, I think there's four bolts on here. Let's have a little look. One, two, three, four. That should lift off. As long as they don't snap off, we'll be good to go. So let me take it off and I'll be back to you in two ticks. Okay, so there's the Husqvarna cover, the rear cover, as I said. And uh, it's just four bolts uh, that undo that. And uh, they just come out, it just sits on there. No other clips to worry about or nothing. Now I might have to, might have to lose a sticker here. 2007. The sticker has already already sort of uh, had it anyway. It's, a, it's what it is. I'm gonna take this sticker off because that's the color we're looking for. That color there. Now I'm not gonna spray it. I don't think, I hope this will work, it, it, may, it may not. I have tried this before on other bits of plastic, it doesn't work, but we will try it. Let me get this sticker off. Best that I can. Cool. Oh yeah, I'll just come back to that bit in a minute. So quick little wipe off, get rid of any, any old dirt and debris. And all we're gonna do, is I'm gonna get my, my blowtorch, 
and I'm just going to heat this up. Now you have to go a bit careful. If you go if you go too mad too quick, you're just going to melt it. Okay, it's as simple as that. We know we don't want to be burning plastic. Just want to try and make it sweat is the best bet. So start quite a good distance away and slowly bring it inwards. It's important just to keep it moving at all times. And don't get too close to it. If you get too close to it, then you're gonna, you're gonna ruin it, okay? So this is quite a slow process. Just take your time with it. But you can start to see it start to bring the bring the gray, the gray back out. And it's just a question of just being really, really quick with it. Don't let it get too hot. And you can see what difference that's made to that already. Now that won't fade straight away. So what you can then do is hit that with a lacquer over top and that'll protect it. But it's only where the sun's bleached it, but just by having it a bit darker, that, that'll just fit into the mower a bit more. So let me get this finished. I'll be back to it in two ticks. Okay, so that's now been um, been treated with just with a blowtorch. As you can see, it's, it's got a much darker finish to it now than what it did have before. It's got a bit around here to do. Don't go mad. Little by little. See it? I'm happy with that now. Now what I'm gonna do is let that cool just for a second. And I wanna see if I've got any 2K lacquer in my, in my arsenal. So let me try and find some and I'll be back to you in two ticks. <coughs> Okay, so uh, in fact, I don't want a gloss lacquer. I want a, uh, a matte lacquer, which I have here. Get that quick little shake up and see if you can't put that on top of that now. So I'm not looking to, to make it look brand new, but just to improve just to improve it ever so slightly. That's all I'm looking to do. Just so when someone looks at it online, it doesn't look quite so worn out. And all it is literally is because someone left it out in the sunshine, that's all it is. So I'll let that lacquer dry, I'll give it another coat and then I'll fit it back to the, back to the mower and you better see the difference uh, from where it was uh, to where it is now. And there you go. So that's now done. I've got to do the um, the overhead valve cover yet, all that sort of stuff for it. Uh, but that'll be done next year anyway. It uh, won't be done this year. So I'll take the overhead valve cover off, give that a spray up as well, nice and silver, all that sort of nice stuff. But now the, the, the front and back covers, uh, they're not a million miles apart. I've also done the, um, the side as well. So that's been grading as well. Just with, just with a blowtorch, that's all it's had and a bit of lacquer put on top. So yeah, there you go. It doesn't look too bad. Um, it looks better than what it was, I think is a, is a better thing, but uh, hopefully uh, it'll be a bit more a bit more presentable uh, for sale. So let's take it outside now 
have a quick little look and see if now it doesn't in fact um, idle or run as it should do, full throttle but not revving its head off, that's what I'm after. And uh, already it looks 99% better than what it did when it first came into my shed last week. Okay, so there it is, finished project. Don't forget this was a free mower, people. Didn't cost me a penny. So, I'm hoping it'll now start off its own back, which it hasn't been started for about, about two or three days. Um, and not rev its absolute head off, that's the idea. Um, and now it looks more presentable as well. So let's put it onto choke. Onto choke, we turn the fuel on, that might even help me. Make sure there's fuel in the tank. Yeah, there's a bit in there, there's not a lot in there, but there's a bit in there. Right, let's see how we get on. That's better. That's a hundred percent better. Okay, we've got, got a few leaves to mulch up, not a lot, but we have got some to mulch because my magnolia has pretty not much finished dropping. Got a few leaves here, just want to mulch up very quickly. Let's see how we get on. It should start with cold now, maybe. Yeah. And there's already a better walking pace machine as well. The other day I was actually chasing after it. Fantastic. So not only does it now start first pull on choke from cold, uh, it now starts as well on when it's warm. First pull as well. That'll do me. So there you go, nice little Husqvarna lawnmower now all up and running and doing exactly what it should do. Cutting, mulching, running, running flat out. It may be just a little bit quick, but do you know what, for what it's gonna be designed to do, just for mulching grass, you want it quite high powered anyway to mulch them leaves up. So uh, I'm happy with that. Uh, that lawnmower came to me as, with, with the wolf as well, absolutely free of charge. The bloke said he couldn't get him to run and do anything. So with a 25 pound investment for the front cover, um, and a little bit of ingenuity with it just burning the, the platter just to try and melt it, just try and bring the shine back up again. Uh, it now looks pretty good and uh, we'll go forward next year, if not this year, during the fall season to, um, to sell. So I'm quids in as far as I'm concerned, absolutely over the moon. If this is the first time you're watching Mixed Mows and Mower Man, hit the subscribe button, whack the old bell. Set notifications to all, that way you'll be told one done a video or two on my Saturday night weekly live stream, which starts at 6.30pm at UK time. 
Don't forget, if you want to buy me, Mrs. P, or Riley Boy a little present for Christmas, my Amazon wishlist is down below in the comment section in the pinned comment, or you'll also find it in the about, say, about section as well within my channel. So if you want to buy me, Mrs. P, or Riley Boy a little present for Christmas, then feel free to do so. I look forward to the next episode of Mixed Mars very, very soon. But until then, people, don't forget, much more importantly, take care easy.